Fry. I'm mayor of the city of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I am in Newcastle is about 50 miles north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 15 is, uh, is the round of time I became involved. Uh, my grandfather, Mr. Allen Chambers, was worked for the Central Union Mission, and he introduced myself and my cousin to uh, Camp Bennett. And it was an opportunity for us to uh, come in and, and spread the word of God and work with some of the young adolescents and children that, from the DC metro area. Um, I was in high school at the time and I was involved in you know, sports and played football, ran track, played basketball. Uh, and I knew the camp had a lot of those amenities as well. So it was right up my alley. And it was a way for, you know, as a teen, a way for me to kind of just get away you know, from my house and, and go and explore, you know, and be a part of something completely different throughout the summer. Um, and I did that for four years, I believe. Camp Bennett had a profound impact on my life. It, you know, not even just getting away from a small town, Newcastle's a small town in Western Pennsylvania, uh, being a, immersed in, in Christian, you know, around good Christian people, you know, engaging in Bible studies, engaging in service uh, and giving to uh, children in need, giving them experiences, you know, in nature, you know, where Camp Ben is located is a great location just to be outside of an urban setting. Uh, Camp Bennett kind of set my life up for the leadership opportunities and the things that I'm doing today. I, I credit, you know, six years of college uh, to, experiences that I had at Camp Bennett. I, I could I credit, you know, where I'm at now as a mayor, you know, as a leadership opportunity early on in my life to to what I'm doing today and leading folks to change in, in Newcastle. You know, we're almost we're very similar to some of the situations that the children were faced with that were coming to camp and the families that were involved in, in the Central Union mission. We have that on a much smaller scale here in Newcastle. So I'm able to, uh, what I learned at that young age at 15, uh, I apply it now at the age of 32 and, and just proceeding everything, decisions and, and, and activities and giving and service from, from that perspective. Specifically, Camp Bennett was just, I mean, it was just eye opening. From the time you turn right and you start driving down that long, driveway to the back until you get to the to the camp and the ministry itself uh it did I didn't get this right away but as we as I grew in the services that they provided I realized how multifaceted it was and how uh in how deep the roots of the ministry went from the service to the men to the uh the types of curriculums that they put in place to the outside work, because again, I was only there for the summertime, but leading into the summer and, and engaging the, that amount of kids in the in a away from home camp was tremendous. And uh, it took a little me a little bit of time to realize how deep the ministry was. And I just I, I, I recognized today that there was a, a, a true continuum of care, you know, from uh, birth all the way into teen and then all the way into adulthood that there was a continual care that the, the Central Union Mission provided. And Camp Bennett was played an integral role in that because uh, what you're truly trying to accomplish is you want to fill that gap. And that gap with age, with the ages that they serve is, is really where youth get engaged in and lose track in terms of, you know, engaging in criminal activity or continue down that path. So they, they provide an environment both educationally, uh, spiritually, and also hard work. They, they worked you out. They work you pretty hard there. Teach you a lot of values and principles uh, of working hard um, at Camp Bennett. So I learned that there. I mean, the continuum of the service was is truly uh, unmatched. My seat at the table is really we're we're looking to create opportunities for people. Um, and when when you say seat at the table, I'm I'm seeing you know. I'm experiencing that not everybody has a seat. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Not everybody has a seat. So how do you get folks a seat at the proverbial table? You know, it's the table that, you know, folks think that they, they don't have a seat at or they, they don't have the resources to do. 
my position is, you know, I'm that resource. I'm that that bridge between uh, the political or, or legislative environment in, in our community to how one lives and how their quality quality of life pretty much is. So you know that's the seat at the table, and I think what we do is create that environment and that atmosphere for folks to to join in and really uh, give them a high level understanding and, and depiction of, of how they can be more involved in the process on day-to-day in municipal um, politics, um, municipal government, I'd say. So really that's where my role is. And I, I see myself more, less as a politician and more as an educator and a catalyst, you know, and that opportunity to help people and create opportunities for people so they can just have better quality lives. Number one, it's in the heart of the country. You're in Washington, D.C. I mean, you're right there where mo- a multitude of, of, of change and things are happening. You're right in the middle of the political environment. You're right in the middle of, of Congress, and the Senate, of the, of the, the president. See, and you just have so many variables that, you know, uh, it's important, you know, to, to have that the footprint that Central Union Mission has already created over its history to be in part. People need to have a seat at the table of Central Union Missions because of the example that it has over so many other missions in the country. Um, I see it as the the, the predominant uh, mission. I see it as the predominant camp uh, and I see it as the model that many places that are serving the, the population of people that it is they should follow um but the resources we know resources can be scarce at times we know resources i can attest to that from my nature of working nonprofit. um but we need folks who have that uh to be a part of that mission to to drive to truly uh, for lack of a better term and to say it again to drive the mission forward i mean it, it, again i'll go back to for starters that continuum of care you're, you're helping those who have uh, a, an inability or a challenge that has pretty much made, made it difficult for them to help themselves. So Central Union Mission, nonprofit work, charitable organizations, especially those with, with high integrity and high value system, you can, and you can track the dollars that are going out to support the people um, and that you can trust are, are that bridge between, you know, Life and death, I, I call it life and death situations, you know, um, especially looking back at the, at the youth that were served at Central Union Mission. I know the things that I was teaching them primarily, you know, about Christ and about perseverance and about, um, you know, just loving your neighbor could have ultimately kept them from a situation, you know, that could have ended their lives or to make their lives a lot harder. We give, we place value systems in their lives, you know, exercise and fitness to uh, um, reading your Bible daily, things like that that really help them out. Nonprofits are, are the ultimate goal, I think, with all nonprofits, you know, no matter if it's from a cancer group to a union mission, to a mission group, to an economic development group, it's, uh, it's to undoubtedly create self-sufficiency between the customer or the person is working that they're working for um, in their lives. You know, they their their goal is to help them become self-sufficient. So essentially, we're working ourselves out of a job. But it's, it's and it's sadly more and more people on a daily are needing supports. But it's it's a good resource to have. And, and places like Central Union Mission being able to provide you know such a, a myriad of of services. Um, and I know a lot of what you do, the kitchen, you love working in the kitchen there. Uh, I know you, you, you feed, you feed folks, you, you help them, you get work, shower folks, you provide multitude of education, employment services. It's just, um, and that's how you help folks, you know, maintain their lives or get to the next level. As a social worker and as a social worker, I know, you know, what it, what it truly means to be, you know, how do we help people? How do we help those most in need? And helping those in need are, you know, having, having a heart, 
having a heart, you know, and, and nonprofit agencies and groups like Central Union Mission are important to the fabric of, of society because uh, we need to have those who are willing to, to go in the trenches day in and day out to truly help people um, gain self-sufficiency and, 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 basic, and meet basic needs of their lives. Hi, my name is Chris Fry. I'm mayor of the city of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I want to invite you to come and take a seat at the table with Central Union Mission. I'm a product of Central Union Missions Camp Bennett, and for four years I served there as a senior camp counselor, watching how Central Union Mission and the and their values and their mission changed the lives of children and adults throughout the DC metro area. Mm -hmm.